Stale smells from up here often come from down there in your carpet. Smells from your dog and tobacco too. Well, Shake and Vac from Glade is here. Well, no, it's not here. I don't use Shake and Vac anymore, although back in the 80s, I spent a lot of my pocket money on Glade Shake and Vac carpet freshener powder, but it's something I don't use anymore. It's not very good for your vacuum cleaners. It's quite a powdery, gritty substance. It can damage the internal parts of your vacuum. Plus, I don't like using it because I've got dogs, although it was advertised as being good for eliminating pet smells. I don't think putting any sort of chemical powder or a foam onto your carpet is very good for our furry friends because they're very close to the carpet and it could affect them. So I don't tend to use carpet freshener powders anymore. But what I do use are air fresheners that you can fit inside the vacuum bag or inside the vacuum compartment, the bagless compartment or somewhere in the airstream of the vacuum. So when you're vacuuming, you get a nice smell. The reason I'm making this video, and it's a short one today, is because finally Pneumatic International have made available the new air fresheners for the Henry Quick and Hetty Quick models. And here's my Henry Quick here waiting to be used. And just at the top of Henry, there's a little cap you take off and supplied with Henry and Hetty Quick you got a little donut shaped air freshener, just one fragrance. It was hard to describe what it was. It smelt, smelt like sweets to me, sort of candy sweet smell. And a lot of people have been commenting on the social media of my Henry. When are we going to be able to buy the new air fresheners? Well, I'm pleased to say that just this week they launched the air fresheners on their website. So I'm going to show them. I bought all three varieties so I can give them a smell for you and um, fit one of the new air fresheners to my Henry Quick. This is how the air fresheners come packaged and at the time of making the video these will cost you $9.99 for a pack of 10 and you've got a choice of three fragrances. I was a little bit disappointed that uh, Pneumatic didn't offer an assorted pack because it would have been nice just to buy one assorted pack to try out all the fragrances and then once you've found your favourite one you can buy a pack of just that fragrance you like the best but because they didn't I've had to buy all three of these so the fragrances available at the moment are passion fruit this one is rose I expect that's the one I least like and this is vanilla so I'm wondering if it's the vanilla scent that was standard with this that could be a vanilla what I was thinking was was candy or sweetie smell might have been vanilla but I'm going to open each one of these and give them a sniff for you to help you decide if you don't want to buy three packs so let's have a look here we go they're all individually wrapped so let's get a pair of scissors and we'll give this one a sniff and see if it smells like the one supplied with Henry when you get him out of the box Mm, that is a stronger smell and it isn't it is a bit similar it's not very vanilla-y to be honest again it's it's a very sweet smell I'll compare that with the uh, the one I got with Henry obviously it's lost quite a bit of its fragrance because you know I've had uh, Henry quick for a while now without putting a new air freshener in whoops that's gone I won't bother <laughs> I won't bother scrambling to get that that's certainly a stronger smell but yeah that's it's different to the one supplied fresh out of the box anyway i'm sure most of you know how to put a new air freshener in but you have to remove the little rubber cap take out the old air freshener pop in a new one like so and then pop the cap back on and then use henry and you should get a nice smell I would say that the vanilla is the most like the smell you get as standard. So if you like that smell, go for the vanilla. I'm just going to uh, pop it back in the, uh, probably, well, I don't know which one I'm going to use actually. I do need to put a new air freshener in my Henry Quick. I think I might like the passion fruit. I like the sound of that. Anyway, so that's vanilla. I'm going to do rose. I'm not keen on flowery scents in anything, um, air fresheners or, shower gels and stuff I, I like a sort of citrus fruity scent which is why I think I might like the passion fruit one but this is rose 
Oof. That's quite strong. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Certainly, they seem to have a stronger odour than the one in the uh, box when you first buy it. Yeah, Oof. I'm, not, I'm not keen. I'm not keen. I don't think that's going to get used much. But you might like the smell of rose. It's very hard to judge the smell because when you're putting it up against your nose in its purest form, then it's very strong. But when it's coming out of the airstream of the Hemi Quick and you're using it, it'll be a lot more subtle. So yeah, but I'm not keen on the rose, to be honest. So if you don't like an overpowering flowery scent, I would give the rose a miss because that it's not, not pleasant for me. Of course, you can put these in other vacuum cleaners. You don't have to just put them inside your Henry or Hetty Quick. You could just pop them inside, you know, the airstream of another machine. But make sure if you do put an air freshener in your vacuum, make sure it's not going to obstruct the uh, suction inlet or anything. But mainly, if the ma vacuum manufacturer recommends an air freshener, use the one that they recommend rather than uh, any one. But anyway, you could... You could put that in your normal Henry if you wanted to. I would tuck that just under the filter in the Henry rather than put it inside Henry's bag because it'll lose its fragrance long before Henry's bag is full. But you can just, I would just slide it in the top of the, the filter that uh, sits over Henry's bag. You could do that. Right, so Rose is my least favourite. So, passion fruit. What's passion fruit like? Oof. Yeah, again, it's it's pretty strong when you hold it up to your nose. But yes, it is a it's a it is a fruity smell. There's no denying that is a fruity smell. And again, it's pretty strong. I think that's the one I'm going to leave inside my Henry Quick. Where's my lid? Here it is. So there we go. Popped it in, and we'll switch on. Again, it's a bit hard to judge because I've just got the full intense smell by uh, sniffing that air freshener. So again, it's a lot more subtle. Um, and I found after a while, certainly after a while of using my Henry Quick for a month, the smell is, is hardly noticeable. These do, these new free fr fragrances do smell s stronger out of the packet than the original one to me. So it, it might smell for longer. Now, because you got you get 10, you can replace one every time you change the bag. I would put a new one in. Depends how often you change the bag. If you see my video, I cut one of these bags open after using Henry Quick for a whole month. I made the bag last a month and it was chock-a-block full. It was still picking up towards the end of the month, although some suction had dropped off. But I opened the bag and all the dirt, it looked a lot of dirt because a bag vacuum such as Henry Quick compresses the dirt unlike a bagless where it sort of swirls it around with the air and it fluffs it up and it looks like there's a lot but in a bagged machine the dirt is compressed I think this has got a fairly new bag in it there's a little bit oh no there's some dirt in there I have changed that yes it has been used a bit I can see there's quite a lot of I don't know if you can see there but there's quite a lot of dog hair and, and bits and pieces in that um, so it does compress so pneumatic average two weeks, every two weeks for a new bag in an average home, but I got my bag to last a month. Depends on how big your home is, if you've got pets, how often you use the cleaner, I suppose. So um, bags can smell, all bagged vacuums can emit an odor from them, especially if you've got pets. So personally, I would put a new scent pod in every time you put a new bag or new pod in, um, but you could just do it once a month or once every fortnight. But I would say on average, every time you put a new pod in the Henry Quick, pop in one of the new air fresheners. If you've got a pack of 10, you know, that's gonna last you, well, 20 weeks minimum, I'd say, but you could go up to 30 weeks or more. So there you go. I thought I'd just make this quick video just to highlight that they are now available finally 
direct from myhenry.com or myhenry also have an eBay shop so you can buy them from there they're the same price 9.99 and it's free delivery and they came within a couple of days as I said as soon as I saw them I ordered one of each so I could try them out and give them a smell to tell you what I thought of them so my personal favorite out of the three fragrances is the passion fruit followed by the vanilla but it doesn't really smell very vanilla-y to me and my least favorite is rose but you might love rose if you like the smell of flowers you might like the rose but personally for me that's my least favorite and one i probably won't use at all um, certainly not in my henry quick i might put it in something else but no it's not my favorite so go for the passion fruit if you like fruity go for the vanilla if you just like a, a sort of a sweet vanilla-y type smell and go for the rose if you really like the smell of well doesn't smell like any rose I've smelled, but it's got a very overpowering flowery smell. But as I said, when they're actually inside the Henry Quick, they're not as strong as they are when you actually first, you know, stick them up your nose. So there you go. Available now from myhenry.com. Also, you can buy other consumables for your Henry or Hetty Quick. There's not much available at the moment, but you can buy a spare battery if you want to. You can buy, of course, the pods. You can buy a battery charger if you lose or break your battery charger. But I think that's all that's available at the moment. They haven't put any other spares on yet. Uh, for example, at some point you might need to change your brush roll for a new one, but that's not available yet. But I can't see anyone needing to replace the brush roll of their Henry Quick quite so soon. Because Henry Quick is a bagged vacuum cleaner, he requires less maintenance than a bagless machine. So all we have to do with Henry, when the bag is full, we just eject it into the bin, fit a new bag or pod, and then you're ready to clean again. You can't actually use Henry without a bag in place. You can try, but you can't turn Henry on until the bag or pod is correctly fitted. There is one filter in the Henry, apart from the bag, and that's located at the back of the container here, the clear container. It's just a little black foam filter. Just put your hand in and you can take it out. And after a few months of use, off and on, not exclusively, it's still clean. I did use this machine exclusively for a whole month and that's what it still looks like. And I've used Henry Quick around my home on odd occasions, but I have more than one vacuum so I do use a variety of cleaners but it's still clean because the bag does most of the filtering. If that gets dirty for any reason you could rinse that under running water, squeeze it out, make sure it's dry before putting it back. Do not put a damp filter back into your cleaner. Whatever vacuum cleaner you've got you must make sure the filter is 100% dry otherwise it could be sucking water into the motor and that won't do your motor any good at all. Always make sure the filter is located back inside and then you can pop your new pod in, close the lid and you're ready to clean. So that's about all the maintenance you need to do. I have had a question regarding charging Henry Quick. It's not advisable to leave Henry Quick on charge all the time. Once you've used him, put him back on his charging base or, or wherever you put him to charge. You don't have to have him on the base. You can just you know, charge the battery separately. The battery does come out. And you can charge the battery on your worktop. Once the battery is charged, don't leave it plugged in. Unplug it and then use it in your machine again. But keep it topped up so it's always ready for use. But don't necessarily keep it plugged in all the time. Especially if you're not planning on using Henry Quick for a longer period. And also if you're going away, I would always unplug anything that's charging up. It's common sense really. Any electrical appliance, just unplug them before you're going away. So personally, yes. Keep it charged up, but don't leave Henry Quick on charge at all times. The more maintenance you'll have to do, I think, is with the head. I've recently cleaned this, so I can't show you it in its dirty state. But I'll just give you a few tips to look out for, if you don't know already. You see the flexible hose here that takes the dirt from the floor head up the tube. That comes out. You just lift this little lever here, and then you can pull out the flexible hose and it will stretch and it's at this stage you can look for any blockages. If you have any blockages you could use a bottle brush, something as long as it's not got a sharp tip to it, you don't want to poke anything sharp in this hose because you could break the uh, hose, you know, get a leak. 
So something with a blunt end, you could even use um, a screwdriver with a duster on the end, as long as it'll go through. And if there's any blockage, you can push it through to the cleaner head and remove it that way. So if your Henry isn't picking up properly, you could check for a blockage in the hose and also a blockage in the wand. And then you just push the hose back in and that's not in properly, so <laughs> make sure it's pushed fully in. There we go, I think that's it. Then you press down the little catch here. Just give it a, a little tug just to make sure it is located. So that's in, okay. The next thing, this is not anti-hair wrap or anything. If you've got long-haired humans or pets, this will become wrapped with pet hair, human hair, etc. It does come out very easily. You just press on the button and out it comes. So that can be cleaned. You can get your scissors, cut through, remove all the hair. You can give it a wipe. I like those wet wipes you can get for surfaces. Just give it a wipe, clean the brushes. Again, make sure it's dry before you're putting it back. I wouldn't submerge that in water. Um, the end cap does come off and you'll see a little bearing there. It wouldn't do any harm occasionally just to put a little drop of oil in that bearing before you put the end cap back on. Make sure it's uh, moving freely like that. It's nice and smooth. And then with the brush roll out, of course, you've got full access to the cavity here. And you can, at this stage, clean out the clear part. It will go cloudy with use. That isn't as clear as it used to be. But again, a wet wipe is very good to use because it's not too wet and you can get these antibacterial wipes. So I, I like to give it a good wipe out to keep it as clear as possible. And again, you can, this is the point where you can check for any blockages. One thing to be aware of, and this happens with many heads I've seen, it happens with Shark, Dyson, Vax. You need to keep these little wheels clear. Now mine are clear, but no matter how careful you are, you will get stuff, hairs and threads wrapped around these little wheels. And eventually, if you don't notice them, it can wear them out. So make sure, I believe you can lever these out carefully with a flathead screwdriver. I'll try that in a minute just to make sure you can. If you need to clean the front rollers, you'll need a small flathead screwdriver. To remove the roller, carefully place the flathead screwdriver just behind it and lever it open. There we go. And then you can take out the wheel part and the shaft. Then if there's any debris in the recess, just give that a clean. And of course, make sure that the shaft is clean and the roller is clean as well. And at this stage, if you've got any oil handy, you can just pop a tiny drop of oil on the shaft. And if you don't want to get oil on your hands, you could uh, do this with a piece of kitchen roll in your hand. There we go. And then you need to pop it back. Just locate it in the space. Make sure that the shaft is pushed as far in as you can. And then just press it down. You'll hear a little click. And that's the roller cleaned and oiled. So it should run smoothly and won't squeak. So that's just a few maintenance tips you can perform on your Henry or Hetty Quick to keep him or her operating efficiently. So we've got the wheels cleaned and oiled, a little bit of oil on the brush roll, that's all clean. Slide the brush roll back, there we go. And Henry is ready to clean another day. If you've enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and if you don't subscribe please consider doing so click the bell icon and you'll be notified of all my new uploads I do review mainly floor care products on my channel so if you're looking for a new vacuum cleaner or floor washer or carpet washer check out my many reviews and hopefully you'll find the one that suits your needs so from me and Henry Quick it's goodbye 
and thanks for watching.